Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. This is going to be a recap of the late stream. If you want to join my stream, the link will be in the description and in the comments below. So let's get with the stream. First of all, um, VeChain has partnered with Bayer, uh, Bayer China. And VeChain has solidified this uh, partnership because of a program that Bayer runs called the Bayer G4A program. And this is basically a program that a lot of... Um, Companies actually attend in hopes of getting a partnership with Bayer, and they have a list of many, many specifications and very tough to meet challenges. Um, the companies that participate in this program have to display that they can actually roll out and meet these challenges and roll out the solution in a quick fashion. VeChain Toolchain has done that, and now they've been granted a life partner for life through Bayer's CA program. More than that, them and Bayer are co-developing a, a clinical trial traceability platform called C-Secure based on VeChain Toolchain. Um, I think there's gonna, there could be a lot of medicines and vaccines that are actually put on this for clinical medicine trials. It's going to be pretty much, it's going to be a critical project. Um, and Cream and Partners has actually re um, reported on this. By uploading authentic data in critical stages during the entire life cycle of the medical products onto VeChain Tor blockchain, C-Secure aims to provide a transparent, secured, and credible process for medical products from production to trial uses, which enables a real-time value chain management among Bayer, uh, Bayer hospitals and end consumers with great efficiency. They're, doing, they're using it for authentication for uh, like clinical, um, clinical trials for medicines, which is really cool. In C-Secure, in each medical product is binded with a unique QR code, which is registered as a unique VID on the VeChain Tor blockchain to carry all the valuable data relating to the product lifecycle. For instance, in the event of any discrepancies between the product's digital profile and its real life attributes, or any misconduct during the transaction process, the unchangeable timestamp and role-based data on C-Secure would make it possible to quickly define responsibility of related parties who should bear the consequences. So they're basically providing authentication, uh, 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 authentication of uh, clinical trials and they can actually know where to assign blame if something actually goes wrong. So this is very, very important in uh, clinical medical trials and that's a great, another use case and another partnership for VeChain. Another thing is for Hedera Hashgraph, they were actually included on, um, they, were, they actually got LG to be on their governing council. So Hedera and LG um, are actually working together and they're working together to expand uh, Hedera in China. I mean, not China, in Asia. Uh, they've already, they already have a company that's doing that in Japan, but we know that LG is based in Korea, and Asia is the place for a lot of blockchain and crypto innovations, so they want to really expand their presence in Asia. It's a great partner to have on the governing council. It is a tech giant. I think they do, they'll do very, very well with LG. And uh, last of all, Russia's biggest bank, for some reason, is buying blockchain ATMs. Now... They're buying blockchain ATMs that actually have a graphics card. Now, um, the most obvious use case for a graphics card for ATMs is to mine crypto, but why would Russia's largest bank want a bunch of ATMs that can mine crypto? Now, the other explanation is they want the graphics card for facial recognition, which is definitely possible. But this sounds really kind of weird that the, you want um, ATMs, but only ATMs that are equipped with a graphics card. I think they want to make a little bit of cryptocurrency on the side. Even if Russia is technically banning cryptos, I suppose, the, the, uh, the bank definitely wouldn't um, mind making a little bit on the side. So even like, you know, in a country where crypto is kind of being banned from being traded and all that, like their largest bank sees like potential for it and just in case they want to get a little bit of that action on the side so um they actually bid over a hundred million dollars for a bunch of atms and that equals about twenty two thousand dollars for atm and one of the technical requirements for these atms is that they should come equipped with a graphics card to, to, to either mine crypto or to identify people via like a facial image we don't really know which one yet but i i really but they um basically want all these graphics cards to support nvidia cuda for os or image recognition and possible blockchain operability. So I think at least some of it is going to actually be for mining. Kind of weird. I don't think Russia is really going to ban crypto for long because I think it's an inevitable wave that crypto will actually like take start like affecting a lot of world economic things sooner or later in the future. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.